Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how to use Zoom. It's really simple and straightforward, and I think this will be a great way to keep up and keep tabs on our small groups. Now, just one note before I show you how to actually use it. To use Zoom for free, which is what we're doing at this point and going to try, uh, you can only have a 40 minute meeting or less. Once you have 40 minutes, you have to start paying or sign out and start a new session, which can be a pain. So I just want to encourage you to um, to use this as an opportunity to streamline your teaching and to really think through um, and narrow down your focus of what is most important to teach from the small group uh, information and then just put out only that. Um, so let me, with that said, let me show you how this works. So you can just go online and um, just do a Google search for Zoom download, and it's a free download, um, and you can use it on your phone or your computer. Now, I suggest if you are the teacher, um, hopefully you have access to a laptop with a webcam. And if you do, it'll set up things automatically, and it'll be a lot easier for you to host the meeting. Your small group members can download just a phone version of the app and use it just on their phones. They don't have to use a computer. But again, uh, I would just recommend for you as the teacher to use um, a laptop version or computer version with a webcam. So if you open up Zoom, you download it for free, it'll open up and this is your home page. So on the top, you can click different things. From the home page, you simply click, click on new meeting, top left. And it opens up a window and now you can see me on the computer screen talking to you. Now, it'll ask you how you want to do your audio and your visual. So, I'm going to use my computer audio. You can also test your audio if you want to make sure it's working. Also down here, normally when you start a video, um, the, the video will normally be off as soon as you start a meeting. And so you'll want to hit down here on the bottom left corner, um, stop video or start video. And you'll know the video is on because you'll be able to see yourself, okay? now. Right now, I am in a Zoom meeting with myself. No one else is on the call. So how do you get your small group members in on this? So let me walk you through that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end this meeting that's just by myself and show you how you can schedule a meeting. So you hit schedule and then you type in your information. So I'm gonna have a demo Zoom meeting with Seth Green was nice enough to help us out. Now, if you're doing this for a small group, you type in Sunday morning small group or whatever your group chooses to do this. Um, I just say generate meeting ID automatically. Um, you don't need to require a password. That's just for extra security. You really don't need that for your small group. Um, now you want your host video on and participants on. For audio, it has some choices here, telephone, computer audio, or both. I would just leave it on both. Here's why. If someone in your small group tries to go online, and there may be a possibility that Zoom will get overrun the next couple weeks because everyone from churches to universities to high schools are gonna be utilizing it. So there's a chance that Zoom will get overrun and the video capabilities won't work. If that happens, there's still a way just to do audio and basically do a free conference call. And so if you click telephone and computer audio, that will make it so that if someone is having trouble logging in, it will give them a, a number to call on their phone. And if they call that number, they will be able to hear the conversation even if they can't see it on their computer screen. So I recommend you just leave that. And then this is just calendar information. You don't even have to worry about that. So I'm gonna press schedule. Now what you're gonna wanna do at this point is that you go on the top over to where it says meetings and you'll see this meeting you just created. And then you want to copy invitation. So you press copy invitation and now an invite is on your clipboard and you can go to your email and you'll email your small group and you'll paste that invitation into your email. Now then you'll just have to enter all the email addresses of your small group and send it and they will get an email and in that email will be that link that they simply click on and when they do that it will send them to your meeting it's as simple as that for them and again if they don't already have zoom it will let them download it at this time or um, just open it up for them 
Now, what I recommend you do is to test this out with Pastor Alan or myself. We're happy to help you test this. So you can lead kind of a fake meeting. It just take a couple minutes, you know, set up a meeting and then invite us to it. Um, give us a text or call and let us know you want to do that. And then that way we can make sure you can log in and you can um, talk and that it's working and that your internet connection is working out. And so again, now uh, I'm on the Zoom call and you'll see what happens when he appears. Now, now the screen just changed. That's because Seth just clicked on that little invite. So hi, Seth. Can't hear me? So you might have audio trouble. So I'm just telling Seth that he can connect to the audio on the bottom left corner. So you can also use this chat box in the right side. Um, to get to that, you click here on chat and you can make it appear or disappear. Hopefully this is not a sign of things to come. So the main problems you may encounter when doing this is that either your audio is not coming through or their audio isn't coming through. So again, you wanna go on the bottom, bottom left to make sure you're not muted. And then also, if you click that up arrow there, it will um, give you all the choices of where you want the audio sent to. If you want it sent to your computer's audio or to headphones, if you want to use headphones, it's up to you. Um, also, same thing goes for video. You can tell it which video source to use or not. Let me just go through a couple best practices when using Zoom. Um, one of the big things is that you want to encourage people who are not currently talking or sharing, like if you're teaching or reading something, you want to encourage them to leave their videos on so everyone can see them, but to have their audio muted. And again, that's just the bottom left corner. You just click this little microphone symbol and that will mute the audio. Um, the reason you want to do that is because the more people's audio is on, their computer will be sending your audio out of their computer and then back into their microphone and it creates a feedback loop where it can kind of get really loud really quickly and do that buzzing like thing, which uh, is not recommended. Hey Seth, is it working this time? Can you hear me out? Yes, I can. There you are. Okay, I can hear you too. What did you do? I just tapped it enough until it finally took the input. Okay. So now me and Seth are talking. So <laughs> thankfully it went through. Um, and then you can see on my computer, you can see yourself on the top. And then however many people you have will be spread out on the page. Right now it's just me and Seth, so it's just one video screen. But it will expand that to show everyone. And if it doesn't, you can click gallery view and that will adjust the way it shows everyone. So yeah. So now it's working, Seth. So uh, just for the sake of the camera, in case they have problems too, um, what happened with your audio? And then what did you do to get it to work? Uh, I just said it wasn't, it, it had a button, you know, that icon to push it to activate it. And yeah. It just wouldn't give me, it was just a dead button. And then okay. all of a sudden it worked. Okay, nice. All right. Well, thanks Seth for signing in to our sample yep. small group fake thing. I appreciate it. Hopefully this works for all of us. Thanks, man. See you later. Okay, bye. Bye. So then when you're done, you just press end meeting here. End meeting for all. And now we're done with that meeting. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, if you have other questions or you try some of this and it doesn't work, uh, let me or Alan know and we'll try and help you out. Hopefully this enables a way for you to stay connected with your small group through a crazy, crazy time. And it is pretty awesome even with all the craziness that we have this good technology that allows us to stay connected and to check in with our small group members and make sure we're praying for each other. Uh, the last thing I would say is to make sure that you are closing out your meeting with a time of prayer and just checking in if anyone needs anything. We really want to make sure that all our people are cared for and so do your small group but um, please save the last at least five minutes if not ten minutes just for hey are you guys doing okay is there anything you need and if you as a small group leader are uncomfortable meeting those needs, that's totally fine. Funnel that up to Pastor Allen or myself uh, or Deanna or Deacons 
um, and we'll make sure it gets taken care of. But we just want to make sure our people are being taken care of and that you're being taken care of. If there's anything you need, make sure to check in with us. So thanks, guys. Hope this helps you. Uh, keep in contact with your small group, and we'll talk later.